once upon a time I used to think it was wonderful. <laughs> I used to marvel at it once upon a time. But now have a look at your horses and, and see, you know, check the environment out and try and find out what they're living on. And yeah, plenty of times when there's not much more than memories from to live on but they seem to hang in there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I would think possibly we chew 70 or 80 percent that don't need shoes. The, the horse's foot is the only moving, living, breathing part of, of, of any animal, humans included, that, that people think that it's correct to immobilize it permanently. If top horses that people are paying 250 grand for as yearlings are breaking down and you can go and look at every single one of these horses' feet and, and they've got heel problems. And you'll be liable if you go around saying it was the fault of the that what we're saying is, it's not the fault of the ferret, it's the fault of the metal shoe. You've got a physical you cannot do. I actually broke the rules of racing by trying to race a few horses barefoot. Let me go. This horse can go. That's just not even touched. That's just sitting on. <laughs> At times, I've, I've become felt that low about the situation that I felt like handing my license in until they do change the rule. Just doesn't worry him at all. You trot up the beach and road, everything is horse. It's, it's it's just such a fallacy with the thoroughbred horse. It's got weak feet. That's what we've made through shoeing. Get away with a fair bit of work without having to shoe. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, there's not. A, we don't have to shoe a lot of horses. And most times when we've got a part of horses or doing horse work, you only got the horses in for two or three weeks or whatever, and you know yeah. they get by. But sometimes if you stable a horse, they they might the feet might get a bit soft in the stable, you know. That, and then take them out of that constant movement yeah. and stuff. Yeah. That has a lot to do. That's but we reckon. pull their shoes off and let them go. Yeah. They reckon that's how a lot of the horse shoeing coming in. Mm. Getting them out of the big country like this mm. and putting them into the soft mm. going and then. Mm feet going back Probably it's really the armies, quick. Yeah. Yeah, 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 big armies holding big mobs of horses up and not mm. great, you know. And a lot of a lot of time you know you don't have to do you very rarely have to do much to their feet at all. Like good <laughs> yeah. feet, you know. Yeah. Yeah. They don't like being shod. No, they don't like they don't like their tails being touched or their feet being touched. You know? <laughs> Just keep moving, moving on the way. From the beginning tend to move 20 miles a day and most of our domestic foals <laughs> maybe a mile a day. Jumping up oh, so high The little river mountain make it feel so high Well just gets better when you're living by I'd like to know the progress of it. Yeah it's the steel it's but this is something I've actually learned it just causes so much problem that it's a fact, it's there in front of you, that the proof's there. You yeah, have to keep an open mind. Well, you do get old, old, old. Um, yeah, I don't know where you stop. No, you wouldn't never stop learning. Never.